What's up guys, Dennis Films here with another tutorial and today we're doing music video effects again. Since y'all liked the first one so much, I decided to do a part two and well, let me show you what we're getting into today. Now that y'all seen it, let's cue that intro and get started. Okay guys, so today is basically going off the first video of the effects I showed y'all and then building on top of them. So first thing we're gonna start off is what is called the ghosting effect, but we're adding a little bit more to it. So first thing we need to do is copy this clip right here. I got a clip of a performance scene. You're gonna hit Alt or Command, depending if you're using Mac. Alt on your keyboard or Command to duplicate the layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our effect panel. We're going to type in directional blur. It's going to pop up. Drag it on your top duplicate kit uh, clip. And all right. So let's get started. Let's say, let's add a marker right here. Let's say that's the beat. So for the beat, you can do similar to what we did originally in the ghosting. We're going to scale in. You're going to go two, fr two key frames back from the, the actual beat, well, where it hits. You're gonna add key frames for position, scale, and opacity. And then you're gonna go to direction and blur length, also add key frames. And then we're gonna go two, frames, two key frames over. And then we're gonna add a scale up. So we're gonna scale in just a little bit, nothing crazy say 113 and then drop the opacity to about 50. Let's go, yeah, about 50. And then we're gonna go to the blur length and just go, not too much, about 34 works. Okay, so now it's creating almost like a dreamy effect. So you don't have to do this with the beat, you can actually make the whole clip this effect and create almost a dream effect. So let's just hit play. Let's see, yup, there we go. Boom. Super simple, super fast. Anybody can do these effects. So let me just say that it doesn't take much. You don't have to know Premiere very well to do these effects. So now that we knocked out the first effect, very simple, quick, let's go to the next. So what I have under this clip is a secondary clip, which is of his hand, which is kind of giving the audience a reveal real quick. Cause what we're going to do is we're basically going to do uh, a stutter effect with hi-hats. So let's say you got a beat that's da -da 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 -da. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go, let's say the beats right here. Let's add, all right. So we're going to cut it down. Just frame by frame, just to add that stutter or flicker effect. I'm sorry, better, flicker. That's the best term for it. And then once you figure out how long the, the hi-hats go for, you're gonna click on the first one and then you're gonna hold shift and just click every other one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete them and basically, when you get this flicker effect with the beat going, it's gonna show the reveal. Hold on, let me unhide this clip. It's gonna show the reveal of the clip before. So just making it a little bit more dramatic, very simple. You can even go a little bit more in depth if you'd like to scale up on the flicker. So you can go to each individual clip or you can hit shift I want to do inconsistent ones. So we can just change up the scaling of size to each one and just add something a little bit different. It's, it's okay. It's pretty cool. I think the it's getting thrown off because I underscaled it. I might as well just go scale in a ridiculous amount. And let's see what this looks like. Oh, let's go. I like that. Yep. Boom. Super simple. 
like I said, all these effects don't take much. Um, they're pretty quick. So if you're trying to do a fast turnaround and these are the effects you want to use, then it'll work out. You won't have to spend hours uh, cutting people out or doing anything crazy in After Effects. Simple. Now let's move on to the third effect. So this one is based off the speed ramping effect, which is what I use in every video. I love speed ramping. It just always adds more to it. It's very slight. So what we're gonna do is, let's say this is the beat right here where I put this marker. So it hits on just, just one top hat real quick, you know, where they're not separate. So we're gonna right click on this, hold on. So where this beat is, I mean, where this marker is, is where the beat hits. So we're gonna hit C on our keyboard, cut the clip right there, make sure there's an extension or more left of the clip outside of that beat. And then we're gonna right click, go to speed duration. Uh, for performances at 24 frames per second, I always just speed it up by 225. Boom, let's see. Then speed ramps into it but we're adding an additive dissolve. So it's gonna give us a little flash. Works really well, especially if you have lights in the shot or it's a nighttime shot uh, where the light is exaggerative. So let's just scale it down till we get it small. Almost there. Oops, let's move that. And boom. And it's such a great transition to say if you're going from a close shot to a wide shot or vice versa, it's just boom. And let me say this, okay, so for this shot, you may see these flares coming in. What I did was I just held a flashlight outside the lens and just added the flares kind of, you know, not they're not artificial, they're not editing, but when you add these two together, so when you add the speed ramping and additive dissolve, to say uh, the next clip, which I had the flares in, it is, it goes really well together. Super simple. But yeah, that is speed ramping with the additive absolve. You can always get a little bit crazier. Um, I like to keep the effects very simple, especially on tutorials because it's very time consuming when you go into other effects, but there will be more coming out. So that is our effect. Okay, so for the fourth effect, we're gonna do is pretty much a scale out rotoscope in a sense. Uh, I showed it in the part one or the first music video tutorial, but we're gonna add to it, make it more in depth. So pretend these markers are, is, is the beat where it hits. So we're gonna pretend that is the beat. What you're gonna do is let's first duplicate the layer. So you're gonna click on the clip, you're gonna hit Alt or Command on Mac, drag the clip up to duplicate it, and then where this marker is, where the beat hits, we're gonna cut this thing short, or drag it to where it fits. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, Alt on your keyboard or Command on Mac, drag it up, we're gonna create a third duplicate. And then we're gonna add it to this marker right here. So boom, we got that. So now let's scale out the individual clips. So we're gonna make this one in your effects panel, go to scale, we're gonna drop it back. This effects panel is right here. We're gonna drop it back and then we're gonna go to the third one, back to your effects panel. And then we're gonna scale it back even more than the second one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some solid colors to them. So I'm a, we're gonna go to your Lumetri color panel you're gonna go to your curves, and then right above that, you'll see the RGB. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the blues. We're gonna take the top corner, and we're gonna drop it. It's gonna create that yellow. And then let's go to the second one. We're gonna go to green, drop it again, pink, and then your reds, we're gonna drop it. Actually, I'm gonna move forward. And this is really just something for a pop video or if you just want to add some more color into the video. So basically when the hat, when the music hits, it's going to be like, dun, 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 boom. And then that's it. Simple as that. 
boom, boom. It looks really good on a pop video. Maybe not rap, but you know, to each his own. I can see it in a rap video a little bit. So boom. Very simple, simple four effects that you can use in pretty much any music video. And you know, you don't have to know Premiere inside and out. I hope this helps guys. If it does, please comment below and leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see more content. Um, Thank you all for you know coming and just creating dope shit. Thanks, guys.